Hey, what's going on, friends and family? Welcome back to another episode of BK Overviews, and today they finally arrived. I am so excited to finally bring this review to you guys. This was something I've been patiently waiting for for about maybe a month and a half. But nevertheless, before we get started with any of that, I definitely want to encourage everyone to show your love and support. If you enjoy everything that I do, if you enjoy the content, just hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, all you have to do is just hit that click button that's in the lower right hand corner. With no further ado, let's get into the review. Well, as you can see, this is something that I picked up from Yeezy Supply and I have to say they did change up the box as you can see fulfillment but the box is a larger box which I'm very surprised because normally they have like a smaller box that's more form fitting to the sneakers that's in there but nevertheless whatever let's check it out this came via UPS I missed the first attempt but they decided to take it to my local uh, access point and you already know when you buy stuff from easy supplies for some reason they never give receipts I do not understand why they don't but for some reason they don't give receipts voila as you can see you have your standard 700 box brown boost branding on the side branding on the back of the box here's the actual label size 10 us nine and a half united kingdom yeezy boost 700 style code is eg 7597 and the actual color scheme is inertia 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 could be pronouncing it wrong Please let me know if I am or if I isn't. Comment section is going to light me up if I'm not, but it is what it is. You have your standard pull-out box. Put that down for you guys. Wow. Okay. And it feels like they're getting cheaper with their tissue paper. Or maybe it's just me, but for some reason... Tissue paper is feeling lighter and lighter, thinner and thinner, not lighter and lighter, but thinner and thinner. We'll go all that out the way for you guys. Man, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know you might might not like what I have to say. But my personal opinion, I feel like these are one of the nicest 700s so far. Uh, if I had to put it in order, <laughs> I will probably say the Wave Runners, this pair, and then the, the Mauve, in my opinion. But... I don't know. I'm leaning more towards this over the wave running. I don't know. It's it's something about this blue for me that, that definitely hits. It feels like it's a summer sneaker mainly because of the colors. But these colors work excellent together. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh if you're not familiar with this sneaker, this is uh the latest Yeezy 700 inertia. Uh and then as you can see it has those different tones of blue throughout. Uh they stayed with the great materials, the nice leather here along the eyelids. You do have your mesh here with your 3M behind it. You also have your nice nappy headed suede as you can see. You can see the movement here. And then this midsole is just, wow, it's amazing. I like the gray. I like the little peach color that pops. You stayed with your 3M hits here as well. And then you also have more of the light gray here. But when you get to this toe box, it's just like, wow, they definitely did a great job. You have your lighter blue suede here on the toe box with more of your mesh. 
And then you also have a, a lace loop here that is 3M. You have your light gray laces with your bluish tongue. You know, it comes standard with your labels here. I think it also has the size tag here as well. There you go. Same on the lateral side, as you can see. As we go to the back of the heel, you have your support here with that suede, more of the mesh. This is a very nice sneaker, I have to say. I, re I really like it. As we go to the insole, it's pretty standard with all Yeezys now, or the 700s. Here's your actual insole. Your Authorlite insole, your Yeezy branding on it, and it has that multicolor on the back side of it. Pretty standard now with them. But to kicker with me is this yellow outsole. Like it 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 pops for some reason and it works well together with these colors. As you can see, it peaks up here on the toe. I don't know. I really I really like this shoe. I don't want to seem biased or anything like that, but this is my personal opinion. You have your boost protruding through the actual outsole. You have your Nike, yeah, sorry about that. Your Adidas branding on the heel. Yeah, I really like this shoe, my personal opinion. Um, at some point, I do want to change the laces. I'm not 100% sure what color I would like to change it to. Just to see how it looks, see if it pops. And I honestly come to realize that this pair, I can go true to size, which is the size 10. I think it's mainly because of the model of the sneaker. It is a little bit bulkier here on the side. I do have a wide foot. So I was thinking I should go up a half size, but I was able to try on a 10 and a half. And I'm saying to myself, it doesn't work. Go with your true to size. So if you do have a wide foot, you can go true to size on these. Um, but it's all personal preference, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think. Was this a pair that you was actually going out for? I know some sites did early releases um, and they didn't sell out too fast. Uh, Yeezy Supply had a good amount of them for about 24 hours and then they just removed them. So I'm not 100% sure if they sold out or if they just removed them off the website. Uh, resale value on these isn't too high. I think mainly because these sneakers have a retail value of $300. That is very high. So if you're looking to purchase this to flip it, uh, you know, the profit margin is not really too high. So I think that's why the resale on these are not high. But if you're looking to add this to your collection, honestly, my personal opinion, I am happy I was able to add this to the collection. This is definitely something I'm aware for the summertime. Uh, definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of BKL Reviews. Uh, like I say all the time, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the content, all I ask is for you to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button that's in the lower right hand corner. You can also follow me on these social media platforms. And once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to another video of BKL Reviews.